Mr. Valley. Ah, the man with the money. I was expecting you. I just need one signature on this voucher, and it's all yours. Received five pouches, each containing $500,000 for a total of two and a half million dollars. It should be in your vault now. It is. They just called to confirm it. Where do I sign? At the bottom. There you go. I'll tell you, Mr. Valley, that was a real thrill for me. I've carried so much cash in one trip, especially not to one place. You didn't get nervous, did you? Well, let's see. I'm glad it's your problem now. <laughs> not for long. Uh -huh. You expecting a run on the bank? No, nope, just one account. Must be a big one. It is. It's big enough to withdraw two and a half million dollars in cash. Oh, uh, by the way, you better stick around. You might be needed. Yes, sir, I will. Thank you. Say, uh, what kind of a person can write a check for that much? An attractive young woman. Well, I wouldn't give to find a girl like that. <laughs> You're not the only one. I'll be outside. Okay, thank you. I don't understand what's keeping them. Well, Spencer was probably reluctant to surrender her. Well, we should have heard from them by now, unless something's gone wrong. What could happen? It's simply a matter of locating them and bringing Holly back. Well, Oliver and Basil know they can certainly handle her. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. I told you, no harm will ever come to her. Yeah, all for the wrong reasons, of course. What does it matter, as long as she survives? Look, I'd, I'd just like to know what would have happened to Holly if she hadn't been crucial to the final success of this operation. Nothing at all. She wouldn't even be here. Oh, if that were only true. But it isn't. We need her. And we can't afford to wait any longer for her return. Everything's starting to close in on us. Yeah, we had a narrow escape with Lila Quartermain. All we need are more inquiries into our finances. And if Basil and Oliver don't get back here soon, we can retrieve the money and leave town. I suspect we'll have a Quite a few rate investors banging on our door. You're cutting it too close. It's just a matter of minutes till somebody figures it out, then the whole thing blows up in our face. <laughs> we'll make it, Charles. It might be just under the wire. But we'll get the money before they light the fuse. I wish I were as confident as you are. The young guard is still out there. Oliver and Basil will bring Holly back, whatever it takes. Yes. Well, were you standing here with the friend waiting for us again? Practically. Good of you to check in. We well, had a spot of trouble. What happened? Scorpio showed up, but we took care of him. He and Spencer won't bother us any longer. Did you... Don't worry about them. Oh, well, Holly, uh, is she all right? Physically. What do you mean? Well, she wasn't particularly glad to see us. Do you have any idea how hard it is to rescue someone who doesn't want to be saved? Do you? you misunderstood. I don't think so. We're bringing you back to the penthouse immediately, with or without her approval. Well, don't hurt her, please, Basil. Please, oh, stop it, with you, Charles. As long as she's co she cooperates, we'll be back there and within the hour. All right, look, she's been through so much for us. And bungled most of us. Well, if it weren't for her, we wouldn't be this far. Or been in this much trouble. Look, you won't harm her. Of course not. Look, you've made your point. Hello? Huh? All right, so you've yeah. got Holly. She's right here with me. What kind of shape she in? Good enough to sign a check. It's a 
suppose the two of you can hold on to her this time. She'll be back in the penthouse within the hour. Then I'll go over to the bank right now and prepare Valley for your arrival. Make certain he has the money. You worry about getting Holly back here in one piece. I'll take care of Mr. Valley. Do what you have to make her presentable and let's get on with it. There are a lot of people getting very close to unmasking our little scheme. We can't give them any more opportunities. You didn't have to arrest them. Joe, they're criminals. Jackie and Tiffany? Yes, they broke the law. What would you suggest I do? Stop grasping at straws. Just because you can't find Luke doesn't mean you have to take it out on his friends. You mean accomplices, don't you? Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. Joe, do you think I'm playing a game here? It's starting to look like it, Bert. Well, your friends interfered with the policeman in pursuit of his duty. They won't tell me where Scorpio went, and I think that would help me track down Luke. I don't have to tell you what that means. Yeah, that means you're going to put the collar on everybody that knows Luke. Well, you might as well take me, because I know him, too. Joe, it's aiding and abetting. Look it up if you don't believe me. How is arresting Jackie and Tiffany going to help you find Luke? A night or two in jail may loosen their pretty tongues. Never happen, and you know it. Well, don't post bail for them, and let's see what happens. I have a better idea. Why don't you just throw me in with them, because you don't believe my story either. Maybe I should. How do I know you're not holding out on me? Because I told you. Well, tell me again. Where does Scorpio go? How about Luke? Where is he? Bert, we have been through all of that. But not to my satisfaction. That is your problem. Maybe I can make it your problem. No, my problem is that I don't have any more information than you do. Joe, tell me. Why do I find that hard to buy? Because you've hit a dead end. You're not going to find Luke until he appears right on your front doorstep. Or until someone tells me where he is. So ask someone who knows. You know him. Would you tell me if you knew where he was? I'm a lawyer. That's no answer. It's gonna have to do. I don't know where Luke is. I don't know where Robert is. I, I'd love to find out. Good afternoon, Mr. Corso. Mr. Valley, good of you to see me on such short notice. Well, how can I help you? Uh, there's nothing wrong, I trust. On the contrary, I'm delighted to inform you of the good news that Miss Holly Sutton has returned. What? That's right. She'll be here in a few moments to sign the check. But why haven't I heard anything about this? You're hearing it now. Yes, but I, I, I mean, there was nothing in, in the newspapers about her return. Uh, I would think it would have made the front page. Ordinarily, yes, but Miss Sutton was so exhausted by her ordeal that she requested absolute secrecy. I'm sure you can understand that. Well, yes, but... Um, well, I... she's not ready to meet the press and the public yet. Well, well, then why is she coming here? There's uh, certainly no rush. No, but Miss Sutton is concerned about the people of Port Charles. What about them? I... Well, she knows how anxious they are to see some return on their investment. But, well, they, they certainly can wait another few days until this whole mess is cleared up. <laughs> Perhaps, but she doesn't want to delay the oil development any longer. She's prepared to come in and sign the check to get things underway. I think that's most admirable, don't you? Oh, well, yes, it is, but it's hardly necessary. Uh, a remarkable girl. I feel she's part of the family. <laughs> well, it certainly is nice of her to think of others uh, at a time like this. Yes, she seems to be like that. But she is counting on your discretion not to turn the signing into a circus. Oh, of course. She's had all the media exposure she needs for quite some time, and as her business associate, I would appreciate as little attention given to our transaction as possible. I understand. I'm afraid neither of us could face a press or a public barrage this time. Well, that makes sense. What about Luke Spencer? Where's he? I have no idea. But, uh, aren't you concerned? Not in the least. But he's a partner of Rainbow Oil. Not as far as we're concerned. Oh, but, but... Surely, Luke has a right to know what's going on with his own company. He should have thought about that when he stabbed Dan Rooney and set all these unfortunate events in motion. Well, uh, understand me, Mr. Corso. I'm not attempting to defend Luke Spencer. Nor am I trying to prosecute Mr. Spencer. He's now a problem. He's a matter for the Port Charles police. We cannot afford to be involved with him at this point. I don't want to taint this operation with even the hint of a scandal. 
Well, I'm afraid that that's already happened. Then I intend to see that it goes no further. But what if Luke doesn't approve of this transaction? It won't make any difference. As Joe Kelly pointed out, Miss Sutton does have full authority to proceed on her own. Now, legally, that's true. Then we have nothing to worry about from Mr. Spencer. Besides, I'm sure he'll have enough problems of his own. But, well, it's just that, that I... I'd feel better if I could talk to Luke. So would we all. There are a lot of questions which will have to remain unanswered until the police get through with him. But we cannot wait for that. Well, of course, I'll do whatever I can to expedite the process. I know you will. And I'm sure you have the cash on hand. All two and a half million dollars of it just waiting for Holly's signature. I just... Oh, I just wish that Luke could be here to see it. What's this? Beats me. I was just doing my round when I found these two in the amphitheater. From the looks of them, it must have been some performance. You know, this job is going to be a little more than I thought. My first day, and already I've stumbled onto two bodies. This one looks pretty serious. We'd better get an ambulance over here and get them to General Hospital. Shouldn't we call the police? I mean, this doesn't look like any accident to me. Well, really, there's no time. These both need immediate attention. Uh, why don't you ride with us in the ambulance to the hospital, and then uh, you can handle all the details from there. Maybe I'd better. There's something funny going on around here, and I think the police ought to know about it. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine, but what about you? Are you okay? Have you had any attacks? No, nothing, nothing I can't handle. Nothing at all? I do love these family reunions, but this one will have to wait. We have to get the money and get out of here. Oliver, I'm fooling. Now! Let go of me! Haven't you done enough damage already? Apparently not. He hurt you? No, not me. Robert and Luke. Badly? I don't know. I'm so worried. Darling, I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. No, no, I got you into this. I knew what I was doing. No, I should never have let you go this far. I wish you'd stop these little family squabbles. We have work to do. Oliver, she's my daughter. Yes, and she's my partner, unfortunately. Business must take precedence over family. Well, what do you intend to do? I intend to see that the check is signed and the money is secured and then get out of town. It's too late. We'll decide that. You just do as you're told. Well, I'm not signing any check. Don't be stupid. It's over, Basil. Are you out of your mind? We've run out of time. Not yet. We... Holly is right. There is no time for playing games. Oh. You will sign. Well, I won't. You can just go ahead and shoot me. Oh, but you can't do that, can you, cousin? Because without me, you'll never get the money. So you can just put that gun away. I wouldn't think of hurting you, Holly. You wouldn't. You know I would. I don't sign the check. That's right. I don't believe it. You'd kill my father. Not me, Holly. You. If you don't do as we planned. You cooperate, and your father will live. You murder one of your own family to get what you want? If you force me to. What choice do I have? A simple one. I'll stay here with Charles while Basil and you go to meet Reginald at the bank. If I don't hear within 30 minutes that the money is safe, your father dies. Holly. It's a simple choice, Holly. What about it? I'll do what you want. You will not. Sit down, Charles. Tell me a fool. I was a fool, but I won't be anymore. Holly's doing the right thing. Yes, for everyone except herself. I will not let you use me to try to get her to do what you want. The Martyr Act is not convincing, Charles. I prefer the role of the concerned father. Look, Holly. Holly, listen to me. I lost my self-respect when I fell in love with your mother. And I let 
myself be dragged into this sordid family business. But don't you make that mistake. Father. Look, with Luke, darling, you've got both love and integrity. With a family, you've got nothing. Get out while you can. After she signs the check. You know your choices, Holly. Do what you have to do. See this operation through as we planned, and we'll all profit by it. But if you do as your father says, he dies. What's it gonna be? I'll sign. You're a smart girl. And an unforgiving one. Does this mean that you're not gonna be talking to us? I swear, I'm spending the rest of my life making you both pay for what you've done. Oh, I look forward to that. 30 minutes, that's all. Tell her. The bank's only five minutes away. If there's no more grandstanding from the Sutton side of the family, you should be safely on your way with the money while we make our getaway. Yes, well, let's hope it goes that smoothly. Oh, why shouldn't it? With Spencer and Scorpio out of the way, who's going to stop us? Then on ABC. Someone call Captain Ramsey. It was taking so long. With those two gals, <laughs> I wouldn't even try to guess. You didn't have to arrest them, Bert. Oh, come on, Joe. It... Excuse me. Yeah, Ramsey here. What? When? I'll be right over. Is it Luke? Yeah. General Hospital, he and Scorpio were oh, just no. brought in. The nurse just said they were unconscious. That's all she said. Okay, well, listen, what about what? Jackie and Tiffany? Oh, you're right. But look, uh, when those two women who were just bailed out get here, tell them that Luke and Scorpio are at General Hospital, and that's where we'll be. Come on. Welcome back. Thank you. Are you all right? D just, just very tired. Oh, I can imagine. You look none the worse for the wear. But from all the newspaper reports, it, it sounded like you had a very rough time. Well, the, you know that the media or anything for a story, actually, it wasn't nearly as dramatic as it must have seemed. Oh, but it still had to be quite an ordeal. Uh, I'm curious, how did you... I don't think there's any point in dwelling on that unpleasantness. Besides, we have an important business matter to deal with. And I'm sure Mr. Valley has more important things to do than entertain us all afternoon. Shall we get on with it? Well, oh, by all means. I trust everything's in order. Uh, the, the money arrived a short while ago. An armored car is parked outside waiting for delivery to wherever you would like. Well, that's excellent. Um, if, if you don't mind my asking, just uh, where would that be? I mean, what are you going to do with the money? Well, we're taking it to one of the Corso uh, operational centers in Texas for redistribution. Oh, I see. That's standard procedure for us. But I don't blame you for inquiring. It's only natural that you would want to know, given the large sum of money involved. In your position, I'd ask the same question. Well, in that case, all I need is a signed check. That's what we're here for. Uh, by the way, were you planning on taking all of, of the money with you? Uh, I don't think that would be necessary. Just around two million. Uh, you know, we could leave $500,000 in the account, which would provide sufficient indication of our good intentions, don't you think? Oh, of course. I, I didn't mean to suggest that... Uh... We would run out on you. Oh, no, no, no. There was never any question of that. You can't be too careful. Uh, yes. There you are, Miss Sutton. If you would do the honors, we can get on our way. Is something wrong? I'm just very tired. Yes, I'm sure you are. Just make out the check and then we'll take you home for a good rest. You do want us to begin the oil development, don't you? Remember how concerned you were that the people of Port Charles see an early return on their investment? You're so certain that they will? Well, if you don't sign the check, we'll never find out.
There you are. Well, thank you. Um, I guess we should have some champagne or something to celebrate. My sentiments, exactly. I mean, how often do you see a check for two million... Uh, there's something wrong? Yeah, I'm afraid so. What is it? Well, this check is only made out for $20,000. I thought you wanted two million. So did I. Well, uh, Holly, it seems that you just uh, forgot a couple of zeros. Oh, really? Yeah, here, see for yourself. Oh, how stupid of me. I, I guess I'm so exhausted, I must have made a mistake. Or oh, something. Oh, I am sorry, Mr. Corso. Now the, the check is ruined and you won't be able to get the money. This is unfortunate. Oh, I don't believe I made such a silly mistake. I, Neither do I. I must be more tired than I thought. I'm not usually this careless. Or so forgetful. What do you mean? Well, don't you remember asking me to carry extra checks for you? What? In case of just such an emergency. You've got more? It's almost as if you anticipated something like this happening. Yes, isn't it? That was clever of you. Yes, it's lucky. I suppose. <laughs> Here you are. <clears throat> Try to be more careful with this one. Don't be nervous. Just remember that this money is going to make some people very happy. Yes, how could I forget? Good. All the details are taken care of. I have the check. Oh. Gentlemen, the money's yours. We thank you for your cooperation. Yes, you've been most helpful. Oh, I'm, I'm glad to be of service. Most of my work is helping individuals improve their financial situations. It's, it's refreshing to do something for the whole community. I feel the same way. With a little luck, we should all prosper. Thanks to Miss Sutton here. We owe you a great deal. Holly, you don't seem very happy about this new development, but uh, then I, I guess you must be dead on your feet. Yes, I am. Well, try to get some rest. Now that the oil operation is really underway, you're going to need all the energy you can get. Counting your money. <laughs> well, I think we should be moving along. Ah, if you have time, perhaps we should set up a local uh, checking account for you. Oh, we'll Britain? drop by tomorrow and do that. Well, as yes. you wish. We'll be seeing quite a lot of each other over the next uh, few months. I'm certainly looking forward to it. And... I hope you feel better. Yes, I'll be fine. Well, thank you once again for... My, my pleasure. Look, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Excuse me. Bert? Yeah. Oh. Joe, it's, it's Luke and Robert. I know. How are they? They look awful. Look, Mark's in there with them. Well, what happened? I don't know. I, know I didn't. They just rushed them in here. That man was with them. Oh, I'll talk to him. Why don't you just relax? Get her a cup of coffee. No, no. Oh, hey, excuse me. Yes, sir. I understand you're the officer who brought Scorpio and Luke Spencer in here. Was that their names? Yeah. Would you mind telling me what happened? Well, it's not much to tell, Captain. I found them in the theater at Mystery Mountain. Why did they go back there? Pardon? I uh, never mind. Uh, were they conscious? Both while I'll call. Was there anyone with them? No. Are you sure? Well, I didn't search the place. You didn't see a girl at all? The theater was deserted except for those two laying unconscious. Mm. Okay, thanks very much. Is that any way for an oil baron to behave? Once a working man, always a working man. Right? Well, you're so rich, you hire somebody. What, and give up show business? <laughs> hey, how are you? Oh, I'm terrific, girl. Oh, what's all this for? Oh, you're the first good thing I've squeezed today. Mm, that must mean Holly hasn't been here. Yeah, well, nobody's been here. Listen, you want something to eat? Can I get you some uh, bacon, eggs, juice, Salisbury steak, fettuccine? Like a fat hearing it. No, no, I hate it, Kelly. Well, then what are you trying to worm a free meal out of me for? Just pick uh, up the bread. No, 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 come here. Sit down, sit down. What? I have something very important to discuss with you. Well, everybody's got something important to discuss with you. Okay, close your eyes. Close my eyes? You heard what your old aunt said, close your eyes. Hey, look, I don't have no old aunts. Oh, I'll fly you get your Ah, uh, right now. I'm serious. Okay, now open your hands. Oh, you're not mushy anymore, are you? <laughs> Quiet. 